Okay guys, welcome back to the Google Graphic Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. And happy weekend to you all. So right now I want to show you how you can make uh, a shopping logo on your Android smartphone using your PC app. As you shall. So without wasting most of our time, let's get started. So we have something of this nature. Here's as this. Okay. Then you are going to position it like this. So after you are able to do that, then the next thing we are going to do is to make it a somehow tiny. So position that here. Then we have another one which we are going to position like this. So you understand. We are going to make it like this anyway. Let it be long. Then rotate it and make it like this. Okay, perfect. So you can rotate it to any way you want it. So after that, we are going to copy this. And then we have this here. Okay, perfect. Then what we are going to do next is to start cutting it. So the first thing we need to do is to cut this part out. So where we are going to change the color. Okay, then we are going to merge it together. So go to the eraser and use the color picker to pick the black so that you can color that part. Then you go to color, then you change the color to white. Now you have that. So you do the same thing applicable. We well, are going to cut out this. Okay, so we are going to change the color to black. While well, we are going to cut out that part. So use your color picker immediately you pick. So pick out this, then you have your full results. Just as that and change the color to white. Okay, perfect. So we have that. Then we are going to do the same process here by cut out this. So let's have the color change as usual. Then you move it up. Then you are going to merge it together. Go to the eraser and use your color picker to pick the black. Okay, sorry. We mistakenly match the rank to one. So what we are going to do next, we are going to see the one we are going to merge. We are going to merge this together. So cut it out like this, use the color picker, cut it. Then we have an accurate result in that area. So we are going to cut the last part. So the next thing we are going to do is to pick the last one, go in there and you are going to edit. So we'll cut out the last part. And we are you going to use our color picker. So we can rotate it a little bit. Then reposition so that we can cut it out well. Now use your color picker to make the last part. Now we are going to use the red color. Pick the black color. Go to the color then you have it to be changed to white. Now move it a little bit to be rhyme. Now everything seems to be cool right? Okay perfect. So the next thing we need to do if we fill that this is uh too long we can use our mask to cut out pet here okay perfect so after that we are going to move this to join it so once we are able to do that we are going to merge everything together so we reduce the size why we have this particular shape So 
So go to stroke. Then we have we have this to be positioned here. We are going to copy this, position this here too. So just position it well. And I have this position as well. Okay, after that has been done, then the next thing we need to do is to have a shape like this. Then it's going to be curved a little bit. So that one has to be here. So after covering it, we are going to move it up a bit. Then we are going to use, let's change it to black. Go back to the color. Then we change the color here. Perfect. Now merge it together. Use your color picker to cut it out. Okay, this is cool. Then the next thing we need to do is to turn on our bezier. So click on action. Then we are going to position that here. So just make sure you rotate like this. So make sure you rotate it well. So this is perfect, right? So after that has been done, you can increase the boldness a bit. Then we are good to go. Now how can we make it obvious? So we are going to make it obvious like this by tapping on this so we're going to send that to the back or to this particular area then after that we'll copy the same thing just copy position wall then you position that here now this is just a very simple, easiest way to make uh, a shopping logo. And another thing we can do to make this one awesome is to change the color entirely. So by doing that, I'm going to merge this together. Then I will change the color to something like, uh, let's say blue or red. Let me make it to be red. Why we are going to be placing white at the back? So let's place black at the back. So we are going to place black at the back. Just like this. Change the color to black. Okay. Then we are going to move this. Sorry. So we can make it to be white anyway. Then we change the second one to the white as well. Now perfect. Now the next thing we need to do after that has been done is to have the whole color of these to be changed. So we go in there. It's already changed anyway. So we are going to change the color to um let's change the color to white or to red so change the color to red then we have this now we go in there these two will be changing as well to red well we have this one to be changed to red as well now this is cool so this is just a simple trick on how you can come up and we can decide to 
I'll make this one to be white to be more uh, presentable. Perfect. Perfect. So after that has been done, we can now match everything together. So have a position. Then we can have the color change to white. Well, we'll have this. We can have the color change. We can have our font. I mean the text type. So where we have Fuma Fuma Apparel. Change everything to capital letter. Okay, now Fina. Then we can go to the ship. I mean to the font type. And uh, we have our font shape. Outfits. Or we change it to leaks pattern. And we have everything been done like this. Position to the center. Well, we'll make sure that this is positioned to the center as well. But better still, we can have it around here. Why we have the color being changed? So we can make it to be in two way. Why this took this part, and the second one took that part? So done. So after that has been done, we can decide to merge them together while we reposition to the center go to the color i mean to the uh shadow have the shadow change okay have the shadow change the blur radius should be increased okay so the offsets offset can we can have the offset to come down to something like seven check this as well to see that it's cool so you can have it come down So you can still go there. Reduce the offset. The blow radius should be reduced while you increase this to the down. Now this is cool. So we can make our logo very simple, just as this. And I believe we will learn something from here. Just make sure you save as PNG. Thanks for watching. God bless you.